Hello and welcome to Three Toto TV. I am your host Uchi Sharma. And in this week's special edition of Weekly Wrap, we bring you the exclusive sneak peek of ABC Conclave 2023 held at Dubai Marina between 6th and 9th October 2023. The ABC Conclave united global Web3 pioneers, blockchain experts, venture capitalists, and digital asset visionaries from across the globe. During the event, we interacted with various industry leaders and government officials to learn about the latest trends and buzz in the Web3 world. We interacted with eminent personalities on the sidelines of the ABC Conclave 2023. Let's listen in to this slice of conversation we had with Mr. Ahmed El Matwali, CEO and General Manager of the Private Office of Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed bin Hamadan Al Nayan. Let's listen in to his views about Web3 investment avenues in the UAE. We are going to invest in anywhere for any such great business. We don't have any problem. But we have to study again and again to avoid any risk in the future. Next big guest on the list is one of the biggest names from the world of Web3 gaming, Mr. Yatsu, co-founder and executive chairman of Animoca Brands, who handles over 450 projects under his umbrella, including 145 gaming projects. So let's listen in to his views and future outlook. Gaming investments in what you would describe as AAA games really began in 21 and 22. And those games are all just about to come out by the end of 23 or maybe 24. So one of the things that we believe in is that there's going to be a lot of mass adoption happening in the gaming world for Web3 over the next 12 to 18 months because all of these high quality games are going to come out. I mean, we ourselves, as I said, have made over 145 investments in those. Um, and some of them, you know, definitely more than just a few of them are going to be very successful, we believe. Uh, and also, you know, we're not the only ones investing in the space. Billions of dollars was invested in Web3 gaming in the last, uh, in the last uh, one and a half years and all of them are all about to launch these high quality games. So we're very excited about that. During the event, we also got a chance to interact with the representative of the world's largest crypto exchange by market capitalization. Yes, I'm talking about Binance and we quizzed its MENA region head, Alex Chahed, who shared his valuable insights and the road ahead. Let's listen in. So we're being treated fantastically here. Um, we're given an opportunity by the government here. Um, they have produced a virtual asset regulator, um, so it's specifically just for virtual assets. Uh, we've got a fantastic set of rule books and we've got now a path forward to build. Now having that regulatory certainty gives us confidence to build in the region. It gives us uh, the certainty to understand where the rules of engagement are. It, builds on a public framework in order for consumer protection. User focus is a big, is a big thing for us in Binance. Um, and so we're building for the future. Uh, the stability and the clarity is paramount for the growth of the business. It helps with the ecosystem here. We've brought ourselves here and we've brought lots of players here. So it's a fantastic place for us to flourish. One of the panelists of ABC Conclave 2023 was representative of one of the world's leading L2 blockchain, Polygon. We got a chance to interact with Mr. Ravikant Agrawal, Director of Growth, Polygon Labs. Mr. Agrawal shared his insight about Polygon 2.0. Let's have a look. Certainly. Yeah, I think, you know, the overall idea behind Polygon 2.0 is how can we avoid those fragmented blockchain? How can we avoid those silos? which in the previous world we used to call as intranet. Right? How can we reach to a point where now saying intranet, how can we enable that in the blockchain world? That is Polygon 2.0, where we are talking about unifying the liquidity, bringing in all those liquidity with the help of an interop layer that we are planning, where any person who is on a chain one wanted to go to chain two, they don't have to really do those kind of a bridging exercise, bring in their liquidity, wait for hours of time, but they would be able to do that very, very seamless manner. That's the idea where we are bringing in many, many initiative and especially focusing on something which we are proudly calling as CDK. That's a chain development kit. Under the Polygon 2.0, we are trying to enable many, many elements as well as L2s to leverage this toolkit in order to spin up their chain within no time. And then they would be able to become part of this interop layer where we are going to be bringing in the unified unification in the liquidity. 
Metaverse is going to transform each and every industry depending upon the vision of the person using this technology. So let's hear from Dr. Jane Thompson, Chairman Emeritus World Metaverse Council, about what she had to say about the role of Metaverse in healthcare. I see that healthcare is going to be one of the areas where um, the metaverse and immersive technologies are going to be used. It's, it offers an opportunity for collaborating in virtual spaces, for creating digital twins of new buildings, new surgical procedures. It offers a way that uh, students can learn anatomy by going into a 360 degree replica of the human body. Um, it offers ways to incentivize people to be being fit, to eat the right diet, and avatars can help health workers who are so stretched be able to extend the services they provide to people. So we're going to see a lot of applications, and you mentioned mental health, that's one area where people are developing these virtual spaces. In India for post-traumatic stress disorder, with Apollo Hospitals, they've partnered with a gaming company to develop these experiences. So you're going to see a lot. As you know, today Dubai Multi Commodity Centre or DMCC is a dedicated global centre for more than 23,000 businesses from a wide range of industries and sectors including Web3 business. We were very fortunate to interact with Mr. Bilal Jasoma, Head of Business Development at DMCC. Mr. Jasoma talked about UAE government-backed Web3 initiatives. So let's listen in to his insightful perspective. See, our plan is to grow the ecosystem further and to provide more growth opportunities for our members. So we already run a number of successful uh, incubation acceleration programs. We want to deliver more of those to cover all the aspects and subsectors of the Web3 uh, ecosystem. Uh, aside from that, we've got hackathons, we've got a lot of exciting initiatives that can give people a chance to win prizes, to scale up their business, to pitch in front of investors. So basically, our goal is to support growth of startups and businesses that join us at the DMCC. But what we're really interested to see is some cutting edge technology and blockchain and AI because the reason we got into crypto in the first place is we wanted to see adoption by our mainstream sector. We have a lot of companies in the energy sector and the gold and diamond and the supply chain, more than 23,000 companies in DMCC. A lot of those companies are looking to take their trade and their business to the next level. And we believe that blockchain and AI technologies are the way to do that. So we want to see those technologies come and set up with us to encourage that adoption and use cases, basically. Market participants believe that blockchain and metaverse gaming is going to be very helpful to onboard masses on the Web3 bandwagon in the coming years. We got a chance to interact with Mr. Camillo Million, founder and CEO of Polka City, who shared his insights about scalability challenges in the world of Web3 gaming. Let's listen in. The first thing is that, I mean, one of the, the reasons many uh, companies are failing is because they build this game and they build all this, this, this uh, blockchain and transaction utilization, NFT and all that, and then the fees come and kill them with the gas fees and all of this. So, so what we did to tackle that pain was we built our own blockchain. It's MetaChain 1, and which is a zero gas fee blockchain. And now you can actually be in our metaverse and move NFTs to change hands and, and do all these things without the gas expense. So it's easier to, you know, and, and more agile. And, and, uh, and, and before, it used to be that, um, and, and most of people is, uh, that, that have our blockchain games are transferring that gas fee to the customer, right? Because as a company, it doesn't make sense for me to pay gas for thousands of transactions, thousands of people, you know, eating into the profits. So we pass it to the, to the, to the, to, to the end user. Now, we can actually do all these transactions and, and ourselves, and since we're not paying gas, we don't need to bother the user with the transaction and interruption in the game. So now you can have a full experience in the metaverse with blockchain transactions without having to open your MetaMask and keep going. Well, that's all in our special episode of Weekly Wrap about ABC Conclave Dubai 2023. We will meet again next week. Till then, keep watching 3.TV and for more information and stories, log on to our website www3worstv.io or scan the QR code. Thank <music> you.